Good morning, learners. I'm Teacher Shala, and welcome to our new episode of Grade 7 Lesson here in Science Team. Most Essential Learning Competencies Describe the different types of charging processes. How is electricity produced? Appliances at home like TV, radio, and washing machine are powered by electricity. It makes our daily activities easier. Let us discuss how electricity is produced in terms of electric charges at rest and different ways of transferring charges. Thales using rap fossilized three stuff with a piece of cloth. William Gilbert found out the other materials can also be charged. Benjamin Franklin performed his famous experiment of flying a kite during a thunderstorm. Learning Task 1 A boy combing his hair. What happened to the bits of paper placed near the comb after using it? Why do you say so? Very good! The paper is attracted to the comb. This happens because the charged comb induces an opposite charge in the paper. And as opposite charges attract, the paper sticks to the comb. Learning Task 2 what do you call the positively charged particles? Very good! It's proton. What are the negatively charged particles? Bravo! It's electron. If an atom has equal number of positively charged particles and negatively charged particles, what will be the charge of the atom? An atom is electrically neutral because they have an equal number of protons and electrons. When do we say that an object is Positively charged or negatively charged? Have you experienced placing your arm near a switch on television screen? What happened to the hair on your arm? The standing of hair of your arm is the result of static electricity. Electric charges can be transferred using different ways. Opposite charges attract. Like charges repel. To charge an object, one must alter the charge balance to positive and negative charges. There are three ways to do it. Friction, conduction, and induction. The process of supplying the electrical charge to an object or losing electric charge from an object is called charging. Charging by friction. The process which an object gets charged when it is rubbed against another object or there is direct contact between the two objects. Charging by conduction. The process in which an object gets charged, making contact with a charged object. Charging in induction. The process in which object gets by charge, objects without direct contact. Learning Task 3. Based on the given examples and illustration, how will you differentiate the methods of charging? Learning Task 4. Explain the importance of practicing safety precaution in handling electrical devices. Learning Task 5. Copy the figure below and complete the graphic organizer with the needed information. Generalization Electricity is produced in terms of electrical charges at rest and the different ways of transferring charges such as charging by friction, charging by conduction, and charging in induction. I hope you learned something from our discussion for today. This is Teacher Shalom. Thank you and see you in our next episode.